Carotid sinus massage is a non-invasive bedside procedure and an important clinical skill. Carotid sinus massage is a major diagnostic test for carotid sinus hypersensitivity, which may be manifested by dizziness or syncope. It is also used in emergencies to diagnose or treat paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. This video reviews the indications for carotid sinus massage, the contraindications, the equipment needed, and how to perform the procedure safely in adults. The carotid sinus is located at the bifurcation of the common carotid artery, which is found at the level of the thyroid cartilage inferior to the angle of the mandible and medial, to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The carotid sinus senses changes in the arterial blood pressure by means of baroreceptors, which are interwoven nerve endings of sensory neurons, that extend throughout the adventitious along the first segment of the internal carotid artery. Just above the carotid bifurcation, the barrel receptors are stimulated by the stretch of the blood vessel wall. In response to high blood pressure, the rate of firing of the nerve fibers increases, inhibiting the sympathetic nervous system and stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system by means of a centrally acting mechanism, resulting in a decrease in blood pressure and heart rate. Carotid sinus massage induces stimulation of the parasympathetic nerves and inhibition of the sympathetic nerves. The procedure slows impulse formation at the level of the sinoatrial node, delays conduction across the atrial ventricular node, and decreases vascular tone. The procedure can be performed at the bedside and is indicated in the evaluation of syncope. In patients older than 40 years of age and HOMA causes not identified on the initial examination. Carotid sinus massage is also recommended for the initial treatment of hemodynamically stable paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardias. In addition, carotid sinus massage may help to determine the differential diagnosis of supraventricular tachycardia. Carotid sinus massage is contraindicated in patients who are at risk for stroke due to carotid artery disease. According to the guidelines of the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology, Carotid sinus massage should be avoided in patients with a recent history of transient ischemic attack or stroke. Clinically significant dips, a lateral carotid stenosis or an ipsilateral brewery or carotid brewery is not a sensitive indicator of carotid artery disease. Thus, in high-risk patients such as those with peripheral artery disease or coronary heart disease, it may be helpful for an experienced clinician to perform carotid Doppler ultrasonography before undertaking carotid sinus massage. The equipment needed to perform carotid sinus massage includes a stethoscope, a cardiac monitor that can both record continuously and obtain repeated blood pressure measurements and an electrocardiogram, or ECG machine. Be sure that drugs and equipment for emergency cardiopulmonary resuscitation and a defibrillator are readily available. When evaluating a patient with a supraventricular tachycardia and intravenous catheter should also be in place. Wash your hands and explain the procedure to the patient. Confirm the patient's identity, the indication for carotid sinus massage, and the absence of contraindications. Place the patient in the supine position with the head extended. Perform carotid auscultation before starting the procedure to rule out the possibility that the patient has an ipsilateral carotid brui. As you gently place the bell of the stethoscope over the carotid artery, Ask the patient to stop breathing while you are auscultating. If you have not already done so, monitor the patient's heart rate and start intermittent blood pressure measurements. Ask an assistant to monitor the ECG tracing. Examine the patient to determine the location of the landmarks you will use when performing the procedure. Begin by locating the thyroid cartilage. Hold your index and middle fingers together and slide them posteriorly from the thyroid cartilage towards the patient's spine until you feel the carotid pulse. The carotid sinus is located at the upper border of the thyroid cartilage, medial to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Before performing carotid sinus massage, inform the patient that you are about to begin the procedure and have the assistant start a continuous printout of the ECG tracing. Apply firm and steady pressure to the right or left carotid sinus, but do not occlude the sinus. Do not apply pressure to both sinuses at the same time. 
steady pressure is recommended because it may be more reproducible than intermittent pressure. The assistant should mark the scrolling ECG tracing at the beginning of the massage. Tell the assistant when you begin to apply pressure. So this moment can be precisely marked on the ECG printout. Observe the patient on the monitor during the procedure. Apply pressure for at least 5 seconds, but not more than 10 seconds. Stop the ECG printout at the end of the procedure and carefully examine the electrocardiographic response to the carotid sinus massage. A normal response to carotid sinus massage is a transient decrease in the sinus rate and a slowing of the atrial ventricular nodal conduction. Carotid sinus massage may also induce a decrease in the amplitude of the P wave. The typical blood pressure response to carotid sinus massage may be mild hypotension induced by a decrease in vascular tone. When evaluating the cause of syncope, note that ventricular pause lasting 3 seconds or more or a drop in systolic blood pressure of 50 mm of mercury or more, defines carotid sinus hypersensitivity. When associated with symptoms, carotid sinus hypersensitivity defines the carotid sinus syndrome. You may perform a massage on the opposite side of the massage if the first side did not produce a diagnostic response. What carotid sinus massage is used to treat atrial ventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia is, or tachycardia is mediated by an accessory pathway. The restoration of sinus rhythm indicates that the procedure was successful. In some instances, carotid sinus massage may produce a transient slowing of the ventricular rate that can unmask the underlying atrial activity, allowing for a better diagnosis of the type of tachycardia. Minor complications of carotid sinus massage include local discomfort or pain, lightheadedness or syncope may also occur. Serious complications such as stroke or transient ischemic attack are rare, but may occur. The risk of stroke or transient ischemic attack has been estimated as less than half of 1% and can be minimized by observing contraindications to carotid sinus massage. In very rare instances, arrhythmias such as atrial fibrillation and ventricular tachyarrhythmias may be induced as a result of extreme bradycardia. The consequences of these complications can be minimized by making sure that all resuscitation materials are at hand. Carotid sinus massage is frequently performed at the bedside in the diagnostic evaluation of syncope and in the diagnosis or treatment of paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. A careful pre-procedural evaluation is needed to make sure there are no contraindications to the procedure. All patients must be properly prepared before and closely monitored during the procedure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.